Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wayne's World of Science and Technology. You may have noticed things have changed. I have a new microphone. Well, actually, this is an old microphone. Loki broke the new microphone I bought. Yes, Loki, I'm talking about you. And so I had to dig this old thing out of the uh, closet. This, however, unlike the other one, is actually a semi-professional vocal mic, so I should get better sound. Anyway, this is just basically a test to make sure, A, it works, and that you can hear me, and also to mention that I am working on a series on culture. And when I'm talking about culture, I'm talking culture from an anthropological point of view. Um, this is not what you, what is normally thought of as culture, in other words, you know, the opera or ballet. This is... At its most basic, what we're talking about is culture is the interaction, or, sorry, I said interaction. Yeah, interaction between one or more entities. Now, I picked those wording very carefully. I say one or more. Um, there are any number of folk who are uh, conjoined twins who basically have one body, but there's definitely two people inside of there, so that's two entities. Why didn't I say humans? Well, uh, we interact with dogs and cats and other animals, and I'm quite certain that if you look at the people who interact with dogs, for instance, you will find that they act differently than people who interact with cats. It's a cultural thing. And the person doesn't have to be alive. You know, we've got books. Somebody that's been dead for two or three thousand years can have an impact on somebody else today. And for that matter, even before we had books, that could happen because we know that pre-literate um, societies develop extremely good systems for keeping, uh, passing down communal memories from one generation to another. So, you know, life doesn't have to exist, it doesn't have to be human, uh, or I say life doesn't have to exist currently, um, the connection doesn't have to be face to face, it can be through the printed page, over the internet, via telephone, heck, you could transmit to another star, or another star could be getting our television transmissions and who knows what they'd think of I Love Lucy. Anyway. Just think about that. I'm going to do the system on culture. I am going to try and explain to people some of what you see. When I say explain, I'm not going to explain what is actually happening. I'm going to explain it from the point of view of, so that you can see where the shifts are occurring and see them for yourself and say, oh, okay, this shift is occurring because of that or this shift is occurring because of that and have some understanding about it. I'm also going to do a bunch of things that are quite frankly going to be controversial as all hell and we'll probably end up with me getting some more death threats but hey that's normal I'm used to that and the people who send me death threats usually go away very quickly when they realize what they've got themselves into yeah I'm not the nicest person when somebody gets me going anyway when I say death threats, some of what I'm saying here is going to be extremely controversial to societies that are closed, that try to remain culturally closed. We're talking places like North Korea, China, Russia, even India for that matter, to a certain extent, with their um, push towards Hindu nationalism. Those sorts of societies are going to find some of the concepts I'm talking about extremely disturbing because they are based on the idea that